I missed you so much. <coughs> I missed you. I am so sorry I have been away for so long. You didn't get to see my like seventh day hair, eighth day hair, ninth day hair. I'm so sorry. But I will say this. I missed you so much. So much. Really, we have so much to talk about. So today, today, all right? What's today? Wednesday. Wednesday. Just came from Bible study. It was absolutely wonderful. Sunny, sunny, sunny come on. Sunny, sunny. Sunny. Sun. It's not necessary. Sons. Okay, we're going to. Uh, so, what happened was we went to Bible study tonight. It was absolutely fantabulous. I had a great, great time. So I'm full. My spirit is full. My spirit is full. My I wanted to it. talk to. Okay. Um, we're having some technical difficulties. There you go. You can record yourself like that. You know, I'm really, you're, I'm docking your pay for this. I'm docking your pay. I'm trying to make, okay. okay. Move your finger, please. It's not in the okay. way. So today I want to talk to you about shea butter. No, I don't want to talk about shea butter because I don't have any in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any shea butter. So I think I'm going to tell you about my journey because I promised you that I would. A lot of people ask me, you know, what made me decide to go natural? Um, how did I do it? And hopefully this will bless you. I hope it'll bless you. Um, I have been relaxing my hair since I was 14 years old. If I can find some pictures, uh, maybe we'll insert them here. <laughs> but if not, we don't have any. Um, since I was 14 years old, I had a jerry curl when I was 12. Do not laugh. I do not have any pictures, and if I did, I would not show them. Okay, maybe I would, but I don't have them. Yeah, you would. Uh, yes, I would. Um, but um, when I was 12, I got my first jerry curl. Let that grow out. Then I got a relaxer at 14, and I've been relaxing my hair ever since. Um, during the time that my hair was relaxed, I used to just like wet it and just wash and go, just let it out, and it would kind of crinkle up a little bit. It was cute. It was cute. It was cute. I don't think I have any pictures of that either. Um, <clears throat> if I did, I would insert them here. <laughs> okay, but since I don't, um, I just want to let you know that what happened was as I got older, um, a good friend of mine passed away. He, it was very sudden. We didn't expect it. He had been sick about five years before that, but he passed away. And that weekend, that night that I went to his funeral, I relaxed my hair and I said that I was not going to do it anymore and I did not relax my hair anymore. So what I did was I put my hair up in a ponytail as I was already wearing it and insert picture here. And what happened was as I um, continued to wear my ponytail I started to realize that Pro Style Gel, Pro Style and, and Pro. The black pudding, the black pudding is what got me to where I am right now. So I want to say shout out to Ampro and Pro Style Protein Black Pudding Gel. It blessed me. I wore my hair in a ponytail all that time and eventually I just was cutting it and cutting it. And I actually do have a picture of the day that I cut off seven inches of my hair. Didn't I take that picture? Yes. And it was in front of the house yeah, before we, we even that. bought it. We'll insert the picture here. Ain't that crazy right in front crazy. Stop house. talking. Oh. Here. So what happened was um, I started letting it grow out and grow out and grow out and as it would grow out I would cut it and as it would grow out I would cut a little more and a little more and a little more until eventually it was all natural. Still wearing my ponytail but I was too chicken like I told you before to do the big chop. So by the time I actually decided that I was going to start wearing it out I probably had about six inches, six and a half inches which was so cool. Um, I decided to do it because I needed to do something for me. I needed to do something. I challenged myself to see if I could actually achieve this and it's what I did. And I have no regrets about it whatsoever. No regrets. I wore it up in the ponytail. I gelled it up. I gelled it up. Um, at times I would blow it out. Might have a picture to insert here. And what happened was, after that, um, once I realized that I could wear it out, I started to feel so free. I started to feel so free. And when I actually had done it, after a year and some change, 
I felt so it was it I felt so good I felt like I had really accomplished something I felt like I felt the day that I got my driver's license I felt move your finger it's not I felt the way that I felt you know um, when I passed the test or when I aced the test or when you know anything, when, you had when me. I made a, any accomplishment no not when I had this <laughs> eight pound 14 ounce boy no but um, I felt like I had really accomplished something and when I look at my hair I think of all of those accomplishments I think of all of the things that I've come through I think of all of the things that God brought me through and it's like wow I was able to actually do this and I'm so very proud of myself and I would admonish anyone if you are looking to go natural it is not the worst thing in the world to do you can do it you can do it you can do it I'm not forcing you. I don't have a problem with relaxed hair, braided, fried, dyed, laid to the side, love piece of hair, grease, whatever you're doing. It is absolutely fine. But for me, I think that every African-American woman should try to wear her own natural hair. Just try it. You never know. I never thought that I would have as much fun as I'm having. And I'm having an absolute blast. I put some shea butter in my hair. This is my, I don't know what day this is. <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. 7, 8, 9, 10. This is 12 day hair. I'm probably going to wash it this weekend, but this is 12 day hair. And um, I really have no regrets about this journey that I made. It was spiritual. You know, it's become a part of me. I feel whole. I feel complete because I've done it. And not to say that if my hair was relaxed, I wouldn't be complete. I just feel like a different person. I feel like, you know, like I'm free. I feel like I could run through the grass and climb a tree, which I probably would not do. Please don't. And I would not try to do. You could run through the grass, um, but not only the because um, I bruise like a peach, <laughs> and um, it's probably just not smart at my age because I'm years old. So, um, I'm sorry. Okay, camera. You know you're so getting done. Uh, this, you know what? I'm anyone is some who knows how to work a camera. You ain't firing right. me. Now we got a plane flying overhead. Um, so I just wanted to check back in with y'all let you know how much I love and miss you I hope this video is not too long. We got to do some editing, but thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me Thank you for all of my new subscribers. Please continue to subscribe. Please rate. Please comment uh, Please just whatever just keep in touch with me. I want to keep in touch with you and um, Thank you so much for your time and just know that God loves you. So do I I don't have to know you to love you But I do yes, I do yes, I do yes, I do Keep your head up, be blessed, and keep it moving forward. Mm -hmm.